What is going on guys, DBG here, and I said it, I said it earlier, that if 2K remedied the problem, that I would make a video about it. And thank you, thank you 2K, thank you. Because if you guys look now, in TT Online, the top board here has Seiku Dumboya and Killian Hayes. Is it going to be difficult to get these guys? Of course it is. Of course it is. It's never, ever easy to get these top tier cards. You gotta be pretty good to get to that top board. But I mean, they are two at a lower prices, so... Like, it is possible. It is possible. It's not gonna be easy to get them. I'm gonna say it right now, it's not gonna be easy to get those guys. Just like it's not... Which means it's not gonna be that easy to get Fournier. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Like, a lot of people are... Some people were complaining in my comment section that... You just that I just wanted every card to be easy, and that is simply not the case. My whole thing wasn't that Fournier was difficult to get, it was that he was impossible to get. But now, Fournier is possible to get for a lot of people. Like, there are a lot of people in the world that Evan Fournier was literally impossible to get. There was a 0% chance that if you lived in one of the countries that do not let you open packs, that there was a 0% chance of you being able to get Evan Fournier. And now, there's a chance. Now, there is a chance. And this showed a lot of things. I think today has showed a lot of things. Is that we can't let 2k away with BS. We can't. Like, and I, when I mean BS, I mean justify BS. Like, you know what, VC only super packs, they're a thing. Do I wish the uh, super packs could be opened with MT? Of course. Do I wish the VC super packs we're never added into the game, of course. But it's a thing, we have to accept it. But at least these aren't being forced upon anyone who doesn't want them. Tony Parker's available in the auction house. Now, if you want to get any of these cards, they're all available on the auction house, including Sega Noon Boy and Killian Hayes. Problem was, was with the original owner concept of both of these. So, now, it's not gonna be easy to get. Like, the highly likelihood is, is that you're probably going to see a Killian Hayes or Seiko Numboya at once a run. Which means you have probably a one, and then you're going to have maybe four ball drops. So you're probably going to have like a one in, one maybe ten chance of getting one of those cards for every, like for every one of those top three games maybe. So, like you are going to have to play maybe four or five hours of TT offline realistically, and be good at it to get both of these Killian, Dum Killian Hayes and Seiko Dumboya cards. Like, you have to be pretty good at the game to get them. But, that's the thing. Like, there are still some people, a lot of people aren't going to be able to get Evan Fournier. And that's just the truth of it. I assume they didn't put him into the vault, did they? No. But that's the truth of it, is not a lot of people are still going to be able to get Evan Fournier. I'm telling you, these cards are not going to be easy to get. And you know what? If I were to rant about the cards being too difficult to get, then that's just... That's just me complaining for no reason. That's just me complaining to look, to, um, just complaining for the sake of complaining. Like these, not every card should be easy to get because that defeats the purpose of the game mode. That really defeats the purpose of the game mode. But also not every card should be um, extremely difficult to get. It should be easy cards, it should be difficult cards to get. And I have absolutely no problem with what 2K have done right there. But still, but still, there's no excuse for them originally putting a card behind a paywall. And, if it wasn't for, like I'm not gonna take all the credit because I don't deserve all the credit. I don't, I deserve a little bit of the credit for this happening, but everyone does. Whether it's the people that were uh, complaining about it under 2K's tweets, whether it was Shake tweeting out constantly about it, who's probably got the most Twitter clout of anyone in the My Team community, whether it was other creators that are even signed creators with 2K saying that they were not gonna open packs, um, just out of principle due to what happened. Like, all it that just shows is that if something is this bad and people make a big enough noise, like, we have the power to change things, which is kind, which is great. And 2K, yeah, it took them a little bit too long. And I'm glad they fixed it. First of all, I'm delighted they fixed it. Someone obviously got into the ear of someone, of a higher up, and managed to convince them to do the right thing. So I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. But at the same time, like, the fact that, two, like, this was a, there's no other way to describe it. It was a stunt. 2K just pulled a stunt. They thought, they thought they could get away with it. They've been going 
close they've been trying to push a line and push the line further and further and further um until this is happening so i'm glad they've stopped it and i'm glad that the backlash means that this isn't something that's going to happen again like i personally would have said you know what let's forget that the card exists let's not ever talk about the card and let's hope the 2k never do this in the future maybe the backlash will stop it but within two and a half hours the backlash caused 2k to at least make a change to make the card more accessible not even more accessible because he's not that much more accessible because he's still extremely difficult to get but he made the card no longer impossible to get for a lot of people um because the card literally literally was impossible so yeah that is something crazy that is not something that i thought would ever happen so do you guys want me to um to do a gameplay because i actually have a gameplay recorded which i actually deleted which is the most annoying thing i'm gonna have to go and uh, re-record a gameplay because i recorded a gameplay was about to upload it decided you know what because if that convinced even one person to open packs um to get this card then i didn't want to upload it but now you know what um if something convinces like the card can be essentially free which is great like if you grind you can get you can get this incredible 1148 card for free I think that's what I'm probably going to do next because he comes into my team. The fact is, is that while he can be attained, he can both be attained by packs and by grinding the game, which is huge, which is absolutely huge. So in a way, I'm kind of more glad that 2K did this than taking the original owner stickers off the card, which is what a lot of people kind of hoped was going to happen because I think that making everybody get fornia he's probably too good to give him to everybody but make him accessible for anyone who plays enough of this one game mode one thing i would have liked to have seen is i would have liked to have seen him in that middle tier i would have liked to have seen them as one as one of the tier two prizes maybe see one of them as a tier two prize one of them as a tier three prize but look we can't we can't ask for everything and i think it's a lot better than it was initially so yeah like a lot of people say that i am um, someone that will complain about anything with 2k which i don't necessarily think is through is true because i'm also one of the people that will give props to 2k in the most situations and while it's not um i'm not gonna apologize for the rant earlier i'm glad i made the rant i really am i do think that if nothing was done with this situation that it would be not only a new low for 2k but an entirely new low for sports gaming i'm glad that it's it's kind of been rectified I'm glad the 2K have gone out of their way to fix it. And I'm not sure what specific people in 2K, but wh whoever in 2K managed to convince the higher ups to do this, managed to convince the higher ups that the backlash was so great they needed to do something to change, take a bow. Obviously, whoever that is isn't gonna come out publicly. Like I have been talking behind the scenes with people that are working for 2K um, and every single one of them wanted something to be done about this, about this situation. So. Um, I know obviously it wasn't it wasn't any of like the individuals, the producers, the um, the community people. I know it wasn't any of their faults. I don't think anyone would be blaming any of those individually. But I'm just delighted to see Tyler Roberts just missed a point blank shot. You are so bad at football, Tyler Roberts. Why are you on the pitch? All right, my um, that's my uh, my daily my bi weekly snapping at Tyler Roberts over with. Sorry, I'm watching the Leeds match and Rafinha has just given Tyler Roberts a point blank shot, which he just skied over the bar because he's a League One footballer disguised as a Premier League footballer. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take about 2K. And please, Bielsa, if you are watching this, please, please play Pablo instead of Tyler Roberts. Please play Pablo instead of Tyler Roberts. He can't, like, he can't be worse. He cannot be worse than Roberts. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.